Hi, I'm Belle. Well, I'm back with Tim McKibben from the Real Estate Institute of New South Wales. Hi, Tim. Hi, Bill. Nice to be back. Nice to see you again. Um, now, today we're talking about the Executive Committee. So what is the Executive Committee? Well, the Executive Committee gets elected each year at the annual general meeting, but the Executive Committee is designed to deal with the day-to-day -day administration, if you will, of the, of the strata. Because it's just not practical, every issue that comes up for the entire yep. uh, committee to come together and to resolve problems. So the Executive Committee is a smaller group elected by the larger body to make decisions on behalf of the, uh, of the committee. Okay, so not all owners need to be part of the Executive Committee or go to every meeting? No. No. Okay. But importantly, um, they don't lose total control because the owners corporation can overrule the executive committee and they always have that power right. if they are dissatisfied with a decision of the executive committee. Okay. And as an owner, how would I become a member of the executive committee? Well, you simply have to nominate, put yourself forward and say, I'd like to participate in this. I'd like to okay. be on the executive so committee. put your hand up. Yep. I want to get elected. It's as simple okay. as that. That's pretty simple. Um, and what about, is there a chairperson? So what does the chairperson do as part of the well, executive committee. There are three, I guess, three important positions on the uh, executive committee. There's the chairperson, the secretary, and the treasurer. Right. The, the the chairperson's uh, role, as the as the name might suggest, is to actually chair the meetings of the executive committee and uh, and the other committee. Okay. And what about the secretary? Well, the secretary's role, um, that's an excellent question, is uh, preparing minutes, issuing uh, meeting notices, keeping the strata role, correspondence, administrative and secretarial duties. So you can see that they've got quite a function. They do. And what about the treasurer? Treasurer uh, similarly <laughs> has a, a series of functions as well. And it's about the money, isn't it? It's certainly all about the money, <laughs> as the name would suggest. So the treasurer issuing uh, levy notices, so when you get your levy notice through the post, that's come from your treasurer. Yeah. Uh, obviously taking care of the banking. And the Section 109 certificates, which is well, one of the things we've discussed before, which our, discussed our friends, those. the solicitors and conveyances, particularly are interested in when, uh, when the property is being sold. And the keeping the records and preparing the financial statements, and we talked previously about those financial statements being available at the annual general meeting. Thanks, Tim. And what meetings does the Executive Committee hold? Well, as we talked about earlier, the yep. Executive Committee has a broader function than yep. the owners' corporation, so not surprising they have to get together and meet a little more often to, to deal with the day-to-day -day administration of the, of the strata, deal with some of the maintenance issues and those sorts of things. Okay. And are owners required to attend these meetings? No, they're not required, and that's, okay. what, that's part of the benefit of the uh, Executive Committee. So people put their names forward and want to serve on the Executive Committee, and so right. that committee gets together acts in the best interest of the entire strata, um, but they're elected by the strata to, to take care of those day-to-day uh, -day functions. Okay, so, but as an owner, you don't have to go? You don't have to go, uh, but you can attend, but you can't participate in that meeting. So you can go along as an observer if you'd like to. Okay, great. Well, lovely to see you again. You too, Bill. Thanks, Tim. All owners within a strata scheme come together to form the owner's corporation. Now it is the owner's corporation's responsibility to maintain and manage all areas of common property within a strata scheme. But it's just not that practical for every owner to be involved in every decision. This is where the executive committee comes in. While some issues might require every owner to be involved, there's others that don't. For example, things like if the electrician needs to put in a new light in the stairwell, or if the gardener isn't doing a good job, the executive committee will look after these issues. The Executive Committee is elected each year at the annual general meeting by the Owners Corporation. It's the smaller group of owners that looks after the day-to-day -day administration of the strata scheme and is elected by the Owners Corporation to make decisions on behalf of the larger group. The Owners Corporation can overrule the Executive Committee if they are dissatisfied with decisions made by the Executive Committee. And as an owner, you can become part of the executive committee by nominating yourself at the annual general meeting. For more information about strata schemes, you can visit the Real Estate Institute of New South Wales at reinsw.com.au or New South Wales Fair Trading at fairtrading.nsw.gov.au.